So hi everybody, uh, we're really happy to be here. I'm Nicholas, uh, hacker uh, in residence at 3Scale, and uh, Vanessa is a project manager in a new tool that we're going to present you. Uh, we uh, we are uh, from 3Scale. So if you're not familiar with 3Scale, it's um, API management solution. We help uh, companies to provide APIs to developers, and we love Nginx. Uh, we've been using it in, uh, for a couple of years already, and it's really our, um, the, at the core of our platform. Uh, uh, using Nginx, we are able to power more than 350 APIs. Here are uh, a couple of them. Uh, with them, uh, with Nginx, uh, we help them monitor uh, the traffic, monitor the users on the API, and um, make sure uh, the API is always available. But if you deal with, uh, with APIs, by the way, who deal with APIs every day? We build applications. I, I see a couple of you guys. Uh, you know it could be a pain, right? Right. So you probably know what we're talking about. Uh, using APIs can be very painful because you sometimes don't know if the API is down or the app is giving a problem. You have to monitor traffic from different websites, get one key here, another there. Uh, so it gets even worse when something blows up. Then you have to check all these services individually, all these APIs, and try to figure out where the problem comes from, right? Uh, so for this reason, in order to solve this problem, we've created uh, API tools. Um, API Tools is a service addressed to developers and operation teams, and it's basically a backend proxy between your app and the APIs that you're using, and it's built on top of Nginx. Uh, and this is where the magic happens. So basically, what API Tools does, it allows you to monitor, modify, and measure what's going on from one single place. And by the way, we're going to give invites at the end, so if you're interested, and so let's see how this works. Uh, okay. Okay. So this is API tools. First thing you do when you go here is you create a service, and a service is just an API that you're using. Uh, you have to introduce a name and the URL of the API that you're using. You don't need to put any endpoints or anything. And I'm going to use one of the default services here, for instance, the Bitbucket API. You hit on Save. OK, so my proxy is ready. Uh, that means that I can, I can, what I would normally do here is I would substitute the URL of the API that I'm using for my API tools uh, URL here. And then I would run my app, and I would be able to see the request here and make modifications and stuff. So I'm just going to simulate this process now by clicking one of these buttons. Uh, now it's actually making the request. I got a 200. Then if I click here, I can see the response. And if I open the response, I have all the information. Uh, okay, all the information here, including the body. And if we want to go through the response in a more readable way, uh, we just click on here. Okay, here we go. Okay. Um, I'm just going to make another, you can make as many requests as you want, obviously and they will all appear in the traces tab, right? So another very cool thing that API Tools does, it automatically generates documentation for the endpoints that you're using. You can find this on the Active Docs tab. We generate this uh, with Swagger open source, and it's interactive documentation. So basically here, you can play with it. Oh, this is Russian. OK. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not just going to do it. But you can input some, some parameters here, and you would get the request. So, so you don't actually have to make the request. You would get the documentation here. OK, so another thing that you can do uh, with API tools is you can transform the requests. Uh, you do that from the pipeline tab, and you do that through middleware. Um, you have a list of middleware that you can use, or you can create your own. Uh, these transformations on the request can be made on the outbound traffic and on the inbound response. Uh, I'm just going to add a header to show how easy it is to do so. If you hit on the edit button, you can see the code here. So this, this is built with an open RESTY model and Loagit on top of Nginx. So you only need to write your middleware code uh, in Lua and and drop it into your pipeline. So I said, I'm going to just write whatever, because I don't know. <laughs> uh, 
okay, well, this will do the trick. <laughs> and make sure we save it. And so we save. Now we have applied this header. And if we go to the trace, to the trace tab and just redo the last request that we did, uh, we can see the new trace here. And if we open it, we can see that what we just added is here. This is super useful if you want to add API keys or caching information or create alerts or any other stuff that it's not on your app. And finally, on API tools, you can also find analytics. So you can, you can see the statuses, the average time of the methods, uh, general graphic on the traffic. And you can, this is a, a default dashboard, but you can create your own dashboards and, and measure anything that, that you like. And again, you can create alerts or whatever you need. And that's basically it. Great. Uh, thank you, Vanessa, for the demo. Uh, just to get a, a bit of uh, details into technical stuff. So all the beauty uh, you've seen, all the reactive interaction you've just seen, uh, is made uh, thanks to AngularJS, a uh, very reactive framework uh, by Google. And uh, from the Nginx, Nginx part, uh, how it works, we have a Docker container. If you're not familiar with Docker, you should take a look. It's really helpful to um, deploy and test your environment. Um, we use um, Redis to store all the traces and all the analytics. And um, to do this um, metrics and uh, get the traces, we use Nginx uh, with OpenRST and Lua, as Van uh, Lua JIT, as uh, Vanessa said. Um, to give you a bit of overview on the middlewares, uh, it works the same way as Rack middlewares middleware are, are working. So it's a stack, and it goes from one to the other. And the last one will be the one hitting the API endpoint. And it goes uh, from inbound traffic to outbound, uh, both ways. Uh, so as we mentioned, uh, with API tools, you can monitor your traffic. You can try to modify using uh, API keys, for example, uh, for, that's an example. Uh, I used it a lot in hackathons, so I don't have to share my API keys with my uh, other colleagues in the team. Uh, they will only hit uh, this uh, API tools um, URL. Uh, and then you can measure with a couple of uh, analytics. So I hope you guys are excited uh, about what you just seen. Uh, for all the guys who raised their hand for uh, using APIs, uh, that might be a tool you could use in production. And if you guys are interested, we have a couple of invites and codes are ready to use. So come talk to us, and we'll be happy to give those. Otherwise, you can send us an email. Thank you. <laughs>